Hello, everybody. So today we're going to talk about estrogen. All things estrogen. Estrogen is amazing. All things estrogen. Okay. All right. So estrogen is what? It's estrogen is the hormone blamed for mood swings. Uh, it's praised though for glowing skin and it's totally, totally, totally misunderstood. So we're going to talk today about what it actually does, why it matters and what happens when it starts ghosting you. Let's start with the fun facts, fun, freaky facts, 10 fun, freaky facts about estrogen. Okay. Okay. You ready? Estrogen doesn't just come from your ovaries. Your fat cells make it too. Woo. Okay. It affects over 400 functions in the body, 400. So just let that soak in for a minute. 400 things, functions in the body estrogen is responsible for. And you wonder why in perimenopause and menopause things go crazy. 400. It's a natural antidepressant, okay? It helps serotonin stay in the brain, okay? It's, an, it's a natural antidepressant. It improves collagen and makes your skin look plump and glowy, okay? Gray. It keeps your joints lubricated, literally, okay? Literally. Um, estrogen influences memory and focus, so we that's why, just think about all the symptoms we hear. It protects your heart, Okay, it keeps your vaginal tissue thick, elastic, and self-lubricated. It's a lubricant. Yes, yes, yes. So estrogen can spike before it crashes in perimenopause. Hello, hello, hormone roller coaster. Want to know another fact? Men have estrogen too. Yep, that's right, right? And here's a cool fact. Men have estrogen, and we know women have testosterone, right? Men just have more testosterone than women and women have more estrogen than men but men actually have estrogen too you wouldn't believe how many people actually don't know that all right some facts so what types of estrogen do we have so there's three types of estrogen in the body estradiol which is our e2 the main form in reproductive years the thing we talk about when we talk about hormone replacement is estradiol we also have estrone, which is E1, which is more dominant after uh, menopause when that E2 goes bye-bye. And then we have estriol, which is E3. It's weakest, mostly we happen in, in pregnancy, okay? Um, so we know that estrogen is really, really uh, important for all of those different functions, right? 400 different functions in our body. So what are some common symptoms of estrogen deficiency? Well, let's think about the things that we said it does. Hot flashes and night sweats, anxiety, depression, irritability, insomnia, fatigue, vaginal dryness, painful sex, joint pain, brain fog, forgetfulness, weight gain, especially midsection, loss of muscle mass, slowed metabolism, recurrent UTIs, bladder urgency, okay? That is a lot of things. But if it has 400 functions in the body, then certainly the symptoms when it's depleting, erratic, or then one day completely gone are going to be big symptoms, right? So what do we, you know, what do we do about it? We, re we can replace estrogen, right? Which, can, which is a fine art, okay? Estrogen replacement is a fine art. Um, but start by tracking your symptoms. So if you're someone in your late 30s, early 40s, and you feel like things are erratic, start tracking uh, your symptoms. Um, but we do, uh, we do replace, uh, replace estrogen. Estrogen is powerful. She's a powerful mamma jamma. She's a superhero. Um, and she really works well in our body when, when we have the right level. So it's important that we keep her around, right? We want our estrogen. Okay. We want our estrogen. Um, so that being said, estrogen, you just went over the 411 of estrogen, right? Um, what she's involved in, what she does, what she regulates, the three types of estrogen that we have in our body. You want to know more and how this actually plays in perimenopause and menopause. You can take our free hormone course, um, or we have a we have a what the f is happening to me course, um, which gives you the lowdown on it all. Um, so it's amazing. Estrogen, she's a big deal. Um, like and subscribe. Share this with someone uh, who needs to know about estrogen and what she does in the body. Um, and go watch our next one, our next video, which is on uh, progesterone. Uh, progesterone and see uh, what that golden uh, little princess is all about because she's amazing too. So see you soon.